Hey guys, it's me then, and I know I've been a while away from the computer. Um, well, not really away from it, just haven't been making videos for like a, a little while. And since my last video, I know I was like pretty punch drunk, right? As far as, not literally, but just kind of like, oh, off in la-la land. Well, I'm back to reality, guys, back to reality. Um, life does that to you, it brings you back. So right when you think that things are going to be blissful forever, they're never are right that's the way that goes not to say that I'm unhappy because um, I'm not I'm very happy but um, yeah just one day at a time that's all I can do and see what see what happens down the road so let's see we've been really busy doing holiday parties and stuff you guys if you follow me on Facebook you'll know that we had a fun time at um, his holiday party and we have mine coming up for my office um, next week so you'll probably see more pictures and maybe you'll see more pictures we'll see um yeah but that was fun to get dressed up you know i'm not a dress up kind of gal i'm like here i am in my sweats and my freaking gym clothes <laughs> tennis shoes so yeah i'm kind of a casual gal but um getting dressed up now and then for photos is fun so that was all good and um a shout out to patty and elizabeth <laughs> hey ladies so yeah that uh, just to tell you the story of, of how I met him um, briefly, of course, um, Elizabeth had encouraged me to go on a specific dating site, and as much as I didn't want to, my daughter installed it, and that day is the day I met him, as well as, you know, however many other people, but he and I connected, and then we had some conversation back and forth, and we ended up meeting, and that was pretty magical. And usually those dates are not magical. They're just, eh, well, how was it? Eh, okay. You know, you, people seem nice, but they just don't, no spark, no nothing. So luckily I got the spark this time. I guess the universe was in the right alignment and my karma was good at the moment. And who knows? Who really knows why you meet some people and you click and you meet others and you don't? I have no idea. But I'm always just who I am, so... You know, that made me feel good that there is someone out there who's kind of like me or kind of, you know, off the wall a little bit, <laughs> a little crazy. Because I have, I guess my daughter told me I have the uh, female Peter Pan syndrome. that will never grow up. And that's probably true. I'll probably be 90 and still crazy doing the same stuff that I do now, only maybe more of it. Who knows? If I'm able to move around, I'll be doing more of it because I'll be free. I won't have to work. But in the meantime, um, back to my journey, back to everything here at the home front. I think my dog is dreaming over here or something, making all this noise. What the heck? You hear it? Boop, boop. <laughs> Sorry about that. I digress. So, back to business here on the journey. Um, as you guys know, I'm four years out, a little over four years now, and I have been um, struggling with regain for the last year, two years. If I had 18 pounds regain, I've gotten 15 off. Yay! And, um, yeah, I'm feeling a lot better. It all came off in this last month, and because I'm not snacking, I'm following the plan, and I'm using those acid reducers. Where are they? Anyway, they're omeprazole magnesium, I think is what my doctor told me to take, to, uh, because I was getting a lot of acid reflux. But in addition to that, the best benefit is that they make you not hungry. So if I'm not hungry, I don't eat. Um, I just eat at the mealtime and have a little of this or a little of that. And not really worrying about it. And just continuing to work out. Um, my workout schedule has been probably pretty consistent. I want to say anywhere from four to five times a week I get to the gym. And when I don't get to the gym, I will do stuff at home. I have weights. I have um, bands and stuff like that that I can do. Lots of different um, movements. I'm also doing some more weightlifting. I'm lifting heavier weights. And so, um, yeah, I'm noticing some definition in my arms. Not necessarily like you guys would notice it, but I'm noticing some definition in the muscle tone in my arms, which is awesome, as well as core strength. And, um, yeah, that's that really feels good. So I know that once I have my plastics, I'm going to be amazing. I'm going to feel great. I'm going to look pretty good, I think, for me, for my age, you know, and all that. Not saying that I'm all that because you know what? I know what time it is. I got a mirror. Okay. 
And the mirror is your friend, guys. I mean, as much as we don't like to look in the mirror, the mirror actually can work for you as well as against you. And I guess it's all in how you look at it, right? So I decided that I'm going to get a tattoo. I don't know when, but I'm going to get a lotus uh, tattoo in white and pink. And it's going to be really um, beautiful. I have to show you guys a picture sometime. I'm using my phone to make a video, so I can't show you the picture. But I will post a picture of it on maybe on Instagram or um, Facebook when I get it done, of course. And then, you know, what I'm thinking of getting. So I'm kind of excited about that. It kind of symbolizes my journey, um, my mental journey and my physical journey. I really feel like I need a giant phoenix, but I just can't bring myself to put a phoenix on my body. So a lotus um, symbolizes new beginning and serenity, tranquility, and I think all those things are really good for me. Um, as you guys know, I'm kind of ADHD, a little hyper. Um, I'm not really sure if I've always been like that, but I know I've been hyper. I was never diagnosed. So I remain undiagnosed, <laughs> and I'm just going to keep on going the way it is. Because um, that's all I know. You know, we only know ourselves and just do the best we can. So, yeah, that's where we're at. 15 pounds down. That freaking rocks. Just saying. After all this time, who knew that that's all I had to do? I don't drink protein shakes much anymore. Um, I don't want Dr. Yadigar to hear that, though. I hope he's not watching. Um, I do use the um, Gene Pro in my coffee, so instead I'm not actually making shakes with the cocoa powder and uh, um, stuff I used to do, the ice and the stevia. So, yeah, I, I might go back. I kind of miss it. I, I had them consistently for three and a half years, and then as Gene Pro came along, I just slowly kind of came out of it. So this video is already at seven minutes. Oh, what do I really want you to know? Um, I want you guys to stay the course. And all you new people out here who are not yet really fully acclimated, go ahead and just pay attention to what feels good in your body when you eat it. And when you, if you get bloating from stuff, you know, change things up. If you get a stall, be persistent. Just continue to work, work hard and never give up your dreams because the universe has showed me that Ask and you shall receive. And I know that I've used that in the past to bring things into my life and take things away. And I continually use it to feel good. And one of the quotes that I liked from Eckhart Tolle, not to get too deep, was um, something to the effect, and I have it on my Facebook, that says, Basically, whatever it is in life that comes your way, act as if you had chosen it, and that will transform your life. So even if something negative or hurtful or not to my liking comes my way, I'm really, really practicing on incorporating acceptance, taking it in, and experiencing it for what it is, and letting it go. And if it's something about where there's a conflict between two people, or a disagreement, difference of opinion, I kind of feel like it has to do with the other person's level of consciousness and that that way I don't bring the burden onto myself as I just think about their level of consciousness on that subject and that lets me let that go because the fact that it's different than mine really doesn't matter, you know, at the end of the day. Um, how I process events really does matter how I make myself feel is really important. What I talk to myself about, what goes on in my head. You know, we have the, the I over here, and then we have the ego over here. The ego is all those voices that talk to you, that thoughts that run through your head, and the I part can actually silence this. And say, okay, I've heard enough. And stop those thoughts. So that's some of the stuff I'm using, that's some of the stuff I'm doing. Again, the acid blockers are phenomenal. Um, on my bioidentical journey, I'm doing great. I'm feeling wonderful. I sleep well. Um, my sleep therapy, I, I'm not using it as much, but when I do, I feel awesome. And when I forget and just fall asleep, I still feel pretty good when I wake up. 
I think um, just having a positive frame of mind and a determination uh, mindset to pursue a goal, multiple goals. And once I have my plastics, I'll set new goals. I will continue to do training and try to um, incorporate my my partner, my friends into that fitness goal so that they can all realize the benefits of being fit and feeling fabulous. So, sorry about the long video. I hope you guys are going to have an amazing week and I will talk I will talk to you soon.